Hi guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Natasha and today we are going to freeze dry dairy items. Okay, this is something I haven't done yet. Um, I just got my freeze dryer last year and I haven't been confident enough to put items in it that are dairy, but we are going to do it today. So I'm gonna go through exactly what I'm going to be putting in it and then I will do a follow-up video of how everything turned out. I'm not 100% sure how this happened, but somehow I've got three containers of plain Greek yogurt in my refrigerator, so we need to kind of clear out some space here. So that's the first thing that I'm going to put into a tray. The next thing I'm gonna try, which I'm super excited about, is Nessa from Nessa's Nook. She made my homemade sour cream recipe. I will leave that video down in the description box below. And she asked me how this would freeze dry. Um, I don't know. So we're gonna try to freeze dry homemade sour cream. So that will also go on a tray. Next thing I'm gonna do is just some regular shredded cheddar cheese. These are perfect for meals in a jar if you separate them and put them into a little baggie on the top of your meal in a jar. Um, and then you can add that on right at the end of your dish. Perfect. So instead of buying it, I'm going to freeze dry my own. I will also leave down links in the description box of where you can buy like freeze dried powdered sour cream and freeze dried cheese. So I'll leave that down in the description box if you don't have a freeze dryer. And then lastly, this is actually vegan cheese. Um, this is homemade vegan cheese that I make myself. I try to do as much dairy free as possible because I am allergic to it. Um, and I do have lupus. So when I do have a lot of dairy, um, not only does it make my stomach hurt, but it also makes inflammation go crazy. So this is made out of potato, carrot, garlic, onion, and nutritional yeast, um, salt, pepper, and then you just blend it up. Oh, and cashews are in this one. Sometimes I add cashews, sometimes I don't. It depends on um, my macros for that week. So this one does have um, a cup of cashews in it. If you guys are interested in a dairy-free cheese alternative, let me know in the comments below. But we're gonna see how this freeze dries. I don't know, but hopefully it does well. It is something that I typically make in a large batch and then I'm not able to finish. So this is perfect to be able to try some in the freeze dryer and see how it does. Then I can start making larger batches and just pull some from the shelf as we go. That will save me money, that's for sure. So I'm going to bring you guys down and let you see. So I actually opened up one of these Greek yogurts and they, it was already bad. So I should have probably filmed this video last week when I intended to. Um, so that way I would have been able to save the money on that. Um, friends, I am a firm believer that the most expensive food that we buy is the food that we throw away, which is why I invested in my freeze dryer because I have been able to save so many leftovers that the kids would not have eaten or I would not have eaten or we just got tired of it um, because it is usually cheaper to cook in larger batches. Um, that saves us money, but it doesn't save us any money if it just ends up in the garbage. So if you are looking to invest in a harvest, right, I will leave their link down in the description box below. I would truly appreciate it if you used my affiliate link. It really helps out this channel and helps me to be able to um, bring you guys more content as well. The other thing is Harvest Rate does do giveaways um, for a freeze dryer and I believe there's one going on right now. I will leave that in the description box too. There's going to be lots of links in the description box so just make sure you go check out the description box. <laughs> All right, so I'm curious to see how this turns out because I don't, I guess I, I must use this a lot more than I think. I make a homemade tzatziki sauce that the kids really like, um, and it's cheaper to make it myself than it is to buy it. Um, it's like $5 for a really tiny container at Walmart of tzatziki sauce, and really all it is is Greek yogurt, plain, 
um, grated cucumber and garlic salt and a little bit of lemon. And it makes the best dipping tzatziki sauce ever. Super yummy with falafels or with chickpeas, pita, love it. Okay, so this one's a little bit more liquidy. This is a different brand. It's probably made with a different type of milk. Yeah, that's okay though. It should all turn out the same. So I'm very curious to see how this will reconstitute. All right, so there is, trying to get every little bit out of here. All right, there is tray one. So you can tell a difference in the brands. This one is definitely way more creamy. So I'm curious to see how those will turn out and whether one brand was better than the other. This bottom brand was great value and this one was Food Lion. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is my homemade sour cream. This is one that didn't set correctly, which was my own fault. So we're just gonna do this jar. Okay, so the next tray I'm going to fill up is my homemade sour cream. We are going to see how that freeze dries. Ugh, it's probably only going to take up about half a tray. pulled out of the freezer so it is kind of cold. Is it cold mommy? Yes. So hopefully this turns out because I am trying to make space in my ref in my refrigerator and my freezer because the garden is going to be starting to produce stuff here very soon and if I get overwhelmed which normally every season I definitely do. Um, I need my freezer space to be able to throw things like tomatoes into a bag and just freeze them and then I can deal with them later on after the season's harvest. Obviously I would love to be able to preserve everything fresh without having to freeze it but that is just not always feasible. All right, so I think that's good for this tray. The next thing I'm going to throw on the next tray is my vegan cheese sauce. Vegan cheese sauce. Vegan cheese sauce. So this is completely dairy free. Kids don't Are they like. kind of yucky? Um, I don't think so, but I'm sure some of the people in the comments think so. <laughs> so liquidy. I'm gonna put caramel. Oh yeah, cool, baby. They all want okay. it. Shh, shh, shh. Actually, I'm going to keep just a little bit because I want to have some broccoli with some cheese on top of it as a bedtime snack. So. Alright. I really do hope this freeze dries well. It's not burger. It's not burger. 
All right, so I actually have a tray and a half left over. Um, this tray, I'm going to do some almond milk and I will pour that into a four cup container and slide the tray in and then pour it onto the tray instead of having to carry it over to the freeze dryer because that can make a huge mess. And then I did do some digging in the refrigerator and there is about half a container left of this Dean's French onion dip. So I'm gonna put that on the other half of this tray. So I'm just going to fill that up and then once I load the trace, we'll add that in. All right, friends. So here we have the final product of all of the freeze dried dairy items. Remember we did the plain Greek yogurt on this tray. This tray was almond milk. And then this is the vegan cheese sauce. This is the Dean's. Um, French onion sauce dip and then this is my homemade sour cream and then shredded cheese so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to reconstitute this because it is taco night and I forgot that I put this in the freeze dryer so thank goodness it's done so we're gonna actually give it a try because I'm out of sour cream so let's get this reconstituted and see how it does so I think I'm going to start off with a third cup of the sour cream. Pretty much makes it into a flaky powder. Okay, that's about a third cup. Let's start adding, I think I'm going to just add one tablespoon at a time of water because I don't want to overdo it because there's not a whole lot here and I'm really hoping that this works because it, like I said, it's taco night and we got to have some sour cream on hand. So let's give this a try. Okay, that was one tablespoon and you can see that it is like instantly starting to This might be a bit messy doing it this way. So this is tablespoon three. It smells good. It smells like sour cream. So I'm just gonna use the bottom of this and start stirring it up. Okay, that looks a little bit more runny than I would necessarily like. So I'm gonna add half a tablespoon more of the powder. I should have probably started mixing it in right away. That looks pretty close to sour cream, y'all. Maybe just a little bit more powder. <laughs> All right, so the final verdict is it definitely reconstituted perfectly. Okay, so whether or not this work is gonna come down to taste because obviously texture wise, it reconstituted perfectly. So I can't be mad there. Initial thoughts, it still has the tang, like um, the homemade recipe that I use. So flavor, 10 out of 10. 
It doesn't lose the bite, I would say, that, um, hmm, this is really hard to explain. I will say that the texture is slightly off, not in a terrible way, um, but you can definitely taste it's a little bit, not gritty, but a little bit more grainy than like a smooth, which could be whipped out of this. Um, like if you take a whisk and like whip it, I'm wondering if that, I'm wondering if that would make a lot of a difference here. Or if once you did this, you put it in the refrigerator for a little bit. But it definitely, like if crap hit the fan and this was all I had for like my enchiladas or my tacos, I would not be upset. Okay, because like I said, the flavor is there. I do have some Thrive Life sour cream coming in the mail. Um, and I'm curious to see how that taste compared to my homemade freeze-dried version but like I said I'm not mad at it it tastes just like sour cream and I don't know if you would taste the texture part of it if I wasn't just eating it plain so there you go there you have it Ness's Nook you can try freeze-drying this recipe and it works I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you in the next one.